so today we are going to help people who just bought their first telescope and show you how to mount everything and we will as well balance the telescope and, and we're going to do all the installation without going fast we're going to go from A to Z and then at the end of the episode we're going to show you how to polar align the telescope the which mount. is crucial for anyone and let's start step one we begin by putting the tripod out first. This will be the base of our entire mounting process. On top, there is a raised cube-like feature, which will be very important in the next steps. Make sure to point this cube exactly towards Polaris. Step 2. We attach the motorized mount. It is fairly heavy, so we always try to handle with care. It goes on top of that raised cube that we talked about. In order to secure the part so far, we place a piece of metal which doubles as a lens holder and support for the tripod base. This will ensure the tripod legs are wide open and screw into the mount. Make sure that it is tight for now, but know that you will have to loosen it later during the polar alignment step. Step 3. It is time to attach the counterweights. The pole inside the mount is not long enough so we will attach an extender first. Make sure you secure the weights so they don't fall off abruptly or smash your toes by closing the end of the rod with a screw. Step 4. Now that the weights are attached, the telescope can be safely put on. Loosening the knobs on the top of the mount, we make enough room for the telescope's attachment to latch on, then tighten it again. Never ever attach the telescope before the weights, or the entire setup will fall on the concrete once you let go. We have marked the general area with a pencil, so we do not waste time finding the right balance with the counterweights. Step 5. Now, we can attach all of our accessories. Remember, you will have to balance the telescope, so if you plan to image, attach everything that will be on the telescope while it is striking, so it counts as part of the weight. Step 6. Balancing. This part is extremely important because without proper balance, the mount will constantly be under stress while tracking the stars. Start with the right ascension axis. In this case, we blame the wind for pushing the telescope back up, but we are pretty sure the balance was fine on that axis because we always put our weights in the same spots. Then comes the declination axis. Simply slide the telescope in whatever direction is needed and try not to do this alone unless you're used to it. You'll know you're successful when you can swing the telescope gently in all directions and it stays still in place without tipping over. Step 7. Collimation. Rotate the laser so that the target faces towards the back and never forget to bring the correct size screwdriver for the tiny screws you will need to adjust. Start screwing or unscrewing the three bolts in the front gently until the laser beam points to the middle of the mirror. Then use your hands to screw and unscrew the three sticker knobs on the opposite end of the telescope until the red dot is eclipsed in the target center. Note that you will need to unlock the metallic knobs before turning the thicker ones. Step 8. Prepare to polar align. Make sure your mount is pointing to Polaris. 
We are used to this location, so we know exactly where the North Star is even during the day. But if you don't, use an app and hope that it will be good enough that you won't need to rotate the entire setup when it's dark. Finally, just plug in everything needed for the night, such as the guiding camera cords, the laptop, the controller, and the power. Okay, so now it's pretty dark. We can see Polaris over there. So all you have to do to Polar Line is to take this off as well as um, the one behind. So inside you can see a hole and you need to turn the telescope um, so the hole is open. Now here on the side. This is a tiny telescope. Uh, in the mouth. <laughs> okay, so let's get it somewhere safe. Um, and now we need to plug in the mount. So once we plug the mount, this is gonna be lit up inside, all red. And uh, yeah. Okay, so now as you can see, the mount is on and it's already starting to, to track. The problem is, if we don't align the telescope or the mount itself, then all the tracking will be trash. So we just need to look through it. Uh, I can see Polaris in there. You can tell because it's the only bright star around. So if you, if you see a bright star and you are pointed towards Polaris, you know it's Polaris, so it's fine. So we have to unscrew here a little bit, not too much, and here as well. So because of that, we are able to turn the mount a little by little. Those two handles here are to turn the mount left and right. So I'm rotating the telescope so that the constellation I'm seeing, so the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia, in my reticle, match the sky right now at this minute. So I know already that the Big Dipper is... Okay, so I matched the Big Dipper angle with this uh, reticle's Big Dipper drawing angle. All I had to do once the drawing was matching the sky is to turn those little handles to make sure that the, that the Polaris star was inside the little circle. And it is. So now we have to make sure that we do this all the way back so it's safe. And that's it. Since the mount is already on, the telescope should always be pointing to whatever target you set it to. We highly recommend a guiding camera for an ever better tracking, but we'll talk about that more in detail soon. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching. We really hope this video helped you. Uh, it was more towards beginners, but yeah. Don't forget to check out our new tab on our website galacticcountry.com. It's uh, called Tutorials. There's going to be a lot more tutorials available for you guys to check out. We'll also have blog posts available. We hope to have as many as maybe 15 by the end of this year. Yep, and um, coming up soon is going to be the 15 best targets of fall, um, right before fall starts. And then of course we're right now filming episode 7, which we hope will come out not too far from now. Alright, see you next time. Thank you.